Welcome back to Walsall Fang TV. The joy and the pain. We love it, don't we? Right then, Walsall going well at the minute. This preview is all about Walsall against Swindon. Swindon are doing pretty well as well, despite their woes, as it were. Uh, their manager, Scott Lindsay, after just six months, decided that um, he didn't agree with the strategy and philosophy that technical director Sandro Di Michel had been uh, spouting. So he uh, opt and went to Crawley. But they're not all at sea, are they? After the last game, 5-0 <laughs> at home to Grimsby. So um, they're not at sea at all. And uh, sixth in the league at the moment, played 26, 41 points. Warsaw, two games in hand on them, on 37 points. Uh, goal difference the same. So um, it's all very tight up there. And it's all very tight. Um, Swindon, um, they've brought a new guy in as well. Um, a midfielder from Liverpool, Jake Kane, a 21-year-old. Um, 13 appearances on the bench for the first team. But uh, I think just that one start in the Carabao Cup, uh, but he scored against uh, Tranmere. So uh, he's an interesting prospect if he gets to start. But the man to watch, of course, is Charlie Austin. On Twitter, I did see a comparison between Charlie Austin and Walsall's new signing, Jamil Matt. Um, they came down in favour of uh, Charlie Austin um, for his, uh, his higher credentials, I guess. But nobody now was scoring in League 2 better than uh, Jamil Matt. So it'll be, seen, see, uh, be interesting how that one pans out, really. Um, Walsall, of course, moving on after... Danny Johnson's exit, and uh, let's see whether Jamil Matt can step right in and uh, continue on from uh, DJ's great scoring. Um, coming back to Swindon, uh, I say results for them have been a bit mixed. Um, <laughs> New Year's Day lost 1-0 away to Colchester, which was a poor result, but then a good away win before that uh, away to Northampton. Uh, Walsall, of course, beat them at their place, which was nice. But um, they're certainly a much stronger team as the uh, season is progressing. And obviously the addition of Charlie Austin is going to be big for them, really. So, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, as far as team news for Walsall, um, Danny Johnson obviously has returned. So has Danny Cashman. He's gone back to Coventry. So that sort of uh, reduces some of Walsall's options. Not that Cashman was getting much game time. Um, Jamil Matt should be a ready replacement for DJ, uh, I would expect. So, team news. Owen Evans, I think, it'll be a shock if he's not there. Bear in mind, we haven't signed anybody at the minute. Um, Carl Darlow, the uh, Newcastle keeper, is looking for somewhere on loan. He can come down and see us if he likes. Uh, Will Jaskalainen is another one that has been touted around, so that's another possible. But uh, yeah, Owen Evans in goal. Uh, back three, we will have a change. Um, Hayden White and Donovan Daniels likely to start. Um, but Manny Month, after that ridiculous sending off, he's going to make way. And uh, Joe Lowe or Oshin McKenty are going to come in on the left-hand side. I think that would probably suit McKenty more than Lowe, perhaps. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, left back, left wing back, um, Liam Gordon. Um, excellent performance against Tranmere. Um, not giving him enough praise, really, I think. He has uh, become quite solid and quite uh, productive on that side. Uh, right wing back, Tommy Knowles. Went off um, with sickness on Saturday. So hopefully he's uh, backfiring and he'll start as right wing back. If not, could be Robbie Wilmot, who of course played with uh, Jamil Matt. So there's a bit of a connection there. Getting those crosses onto Jamil Matt's head, perhaps. But I think Wilmot will probably start on the bench, uh, assuming Tom Knowles is fit to start, which we hope he is. In the middle, Kinsella, no doubt, will be there. Um, Comley, is he going to start? Um, or was Maddox 
going to get that sort of CDM stroke attacking midfield role. So that's a tough one. Um, Hutch, he's another player who suffered with illness and uh, fought his way through the game against Tranmere. Um, hopefully he's back uh, on form. Um, Ronan Mayer, he's one player who may move up the pecking order with Danny Cashman uh, going back. So uh, he may get some game time. But with Walsall in this promotion uh, playoff race, um, it's a difficult time to blood uh, the younger players. But um, if you're good enough, you're old enough. So uh, we'll see whether he gets more game time as the season progresses. Uh, up front, Jamil Matt, we would expect him to come in to start. Who's going to play alongside him? There is a possibility that Knowles could come back up front, but I think the right wing back role is where he'll be. So it's a choice of uh, Douglas James Taylor, Andy Williams and uh, Connor Wilkinson. Uh, I think Andy Williams will get the shout. Um, he's looked good in recent games, um, getting himself involved and linking up play. And uh, he's always looking to catch people out and, uh, and nick a goal. Um DJT, of course, is much quicker, so it may cause uh, Swindon some troubles. And uh, Wilco, I think he doesn't look himself just yet. He uh, needs more cameo appearances, I think, to build match fitness. So I think he would uh, he would be on the bench as well. Right then, predictions. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. But I'm going for Walsall 2, Charlie Austin 1. If we can stop Swindon scoring, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> as far as the Leicester game, um, I tried to book my season ticket spot and um, the um, the internet wouldn't let me book it. So in the end, I've got some uh, tickets over near the manager's bench. So if you sit over there, I look forward to seeing you guys and saying hello. Um, that's a week on Saturday for an early kickoff. Right then, that's enough for now. Let's get to the match, shall we? I'm going to be in Smashburgers. Um, Stephen's not with me, so uh, I would love to have some company down there. So if you want to come down to Smashburgers, 20% off with the code, same as usual, WFTV20. And uh, come and enjoy some of those premium burgers. Nice one. Thanks for watching. The joy in the pain.